Hey, it's Dave Salvadori of Blue Line Design. Thanks for coming back to my channel for the continued saga of the big Blood Bowl board build. Today, I'm really excited to share with you the final part of the construction of it, which is the Aztec themed framing. Now, what inspired me to do the Aztec theme was when I was reading the official rule book. It talked about the slan and they're kind of like lizard men and they look Aztec themed. But listen, Blood Bowl is a fantasy football game. So when I say Aztec themed, I mean more Aztec inspired. Don't get too technical on me. Hey, you're not Aztec, you're Mayan. Uh, I'm a talking frog. <laughs> so let's get right into the build. Before I get into the Aztec framing, I'm gonna quickly share with you how I embedded those skulls into the board. After tracing an outline onto the boards, I used an X-Acto blade to score up the foam and then picked it out with a sculpting tool. I then used this razor blade holder to level off the surface. Once I fit in the skull and made sure that it was pretty level with the board, I then used patching plaster to set it into place. and I cleaned it up using some water with a brush. I used a ballpoint pen to blend it into the board with some cracks around it, and then I used a coat of Mod Podge with black craft paint to put a base coat on it. I used the same technique previously on the dungeon tiles by putting the Elmer's glue into the cracks and then sifting in the ballast grit. After that dried, I stippled on another layer of the base coat. I'm quickly dry brushing on the same gray that I used on the board to completely blend it in. I then flipped the whole board over and used the same process for the grass side of the field. I want the grass side of the field to have a very muddy, worn look to it, so I'm gonna create kind of a mud pit in the center around the skull. With the skulls now embedded into the fields, I'm ready to move on to the Aztec framing. The framing is gonna be the last major construction of this build. The foundations of the framing were created with XPS foam, cut into strips, and then hot glued together into L shapes. These would later be magnetized to the edge of the board, and I wanted to leave enough room underneath so that you could store any books or papers underneath of the board while playing. The more complicated part of the build is to build the dugout, so what I did is I used the original dugout as a guide for all of the measurements. Then I hot glued together pieces of XPS foam to give myself a good foundation to work on. Thankfully, I kept the scrap pieces that I sawed off the Aztec corners I previously built. These are gonna come in handy to make the dugout blend into the whole theme. I had figured out early on that it was important for me to be able to remove the back wall of this dugout so that I could have access to detailing the inside of it. If I had built the whole thing all the way around, it would have been almost impossible to texture the walls and get the details in later that I wanted to. In order to make the wall removable, I did the same technique that I had used on the Hero Quest build where I put in screws with magnets. Once the dugouts were blocked out, I angled some of the side pieces to give it that Aztec feel so that it would blend into the whole build. The hardest part of this build was going to be the repetition of creating both dugouts and all of the framing around it. Once I had a good foundation of all the pieces that needed to be built, I then moved into magnetizing everything 
In order to do this, I started by creating a template. This template is going to help me to get the screws to line up with the magnets on all the pieces consistently. After all the pieces were magnetized, I then move into the hardest part of the build, which is the texturing of all of the pieces. You're gonna see me use the same techniques as when I did the Aztec corners. I'm gonna use a rasp to give it an overall texture. I use sandpaper to clean it up and smooth it out. I use the foil ball to stamp in some texture. To make some of the bricks look sunken back, I'll take an X-Acto blade and carve some out. I remove some of the wall at the back of the dugouts so that I can get eye level with the dugout and look in there and see all the players. I then carved in the same design element that I did on the corner pieces so that it all blends in together. I wanted to add some bricks to the wall to have some of them pushing out. So I did the technique that I showed you in the previous video where I put in some pieces of XPS foam into a Tupperware bin with rocks and then give it a good shake to texture them up. Now I can use those textured XPS bricks to add some dimension to the walls. One of the most tedious parts of the build is to take a ballpoint pen and draw in the brick textures. I also use a sculpting tool and the X-Acto knife to cut out some chunks from the bricks. Believe me, after a while of doing the same texture and the same bricks over all of these pieces, you can start to lose it. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I had a good time with this. After everything was textured, it was time to get a good base coat on these. To do the base coat, I simply put on two thin layers of Mod Podge mixed with craft paint. Now you can see why it was important for me to design that dugout for the wall to come out, not only for texturing it, but for painting it as well. After the two coats had dried, I decided to dry brush on a light cream color to bring out the highlights. After all the pieces were dry brushed, there was one last detail to add to this build. I needed to add these number tiles to each of the dugouts. The simplest way to do this was to sculpt them, do a quick mold, and cast them. After I cast them, I primed them, did a wash, and integrated them into the dugouts. So here's the final frame all built up and ready for the next phase of the project, which is to have fun painting it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video. So I'm really excited because this is really the final part of the construction of the whole thing. I'm gonna do two more videos on this series, one to share the painting, the other one to share the details. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. If you wanna be notified of those videos, be sure to hit the bell icon. And until then, keep drawing, keep designing.